Paris Denard. Paris, welcome. Um, I took a look at this Homeland Security report. They say that they're basing this um, warning about increased threats on past incidents this year. Those incidents were mostly left-wing groups. Um, is that the concern that you're hearing about now? Well, first of all, Merry Christmas to everyone, and thank you for having me. I will tell you this. This issue is very, very important. Uh, the American people, especially the citizens of Georgia, deserve to have an election that is safe and secure. There should not be violence on the streets in America. And what we have to remember is that the American people need to hear from Democrats in office to tell them not to have violence on the streets. So we need to hear from Stacey Abrams. We need to hear from Senator, uh, Speaker Pelosi. We need to hear from Joe Biden. We need to hear from Senator Harris. All of these people need to come out and say, we need to have a safe election. All these leftist groups, especially Antifa, stay home. Do not act, have, have acts of violence because we're better than that in America. Why haven't we heard from those, um, from Nancy Pelosi, from Stacey Abrams? I mean, this report has been out. Yeah, the report has been out. We know what the truth is. It's because it doesn't fit their narrative. They want the American people to believe that there's no uh, violence, that these acts are just peaceful protests. We've seen violence in Georgia. We've seen uh, buildings burned down in Atlanta, Georgia, specifically. And if this is something that's important to these Democrats, they should come out and say it very definitively. If you're a small business in America right now, especially in Atlanta or any of the suburbs surrounding it, in, in the state. You should not have to deal with Antifa and leftist groups coming down and burning down your businesses, looting your businesses. That's the last thing that we need in order to get this country moving again. Businesses are suffering and the people want to vote and vote peacefully and not have these groups come in and agitate and destroy property. In the season that we're in with COVID, people trying to get their lives back together, get their businesses open. We do not need this violence. So these Democrats, Stacey Abrams, Ossoff, Warnock, Pelosi, AOC, all of them, stand up, tell them, stay home. We need to have an election that is peaceful, that is secure, that is safe. All right, so this government report also warns about foreign interference. What are you hearing are the countries that um, our Homeland Security are most concerned about in this Georgia election specifically? Well, look, there's a lot of interference that could happen. We've heard issues of China, Russia, things of that nature. But ultimately, we have to know that this country needs to have safe and secure elections. The RNC put up protectthevote.com uh, in the November election, started that website because we wanted to make people aware of all of the dangers that came in with mail-in balloting and, and, and having this all-mail-in system with ballot harvesting and things like that in our own country. So this is not even focusing on foreign interference, but we have to make sure that we have a system. And I think that is what is at stake right now moving forward. Ballot integrity, the integrity of our elections, whether that's domestic or foreign, it is so critically important that we get this right. And when I was on the ground in Georgia, safely door knocking, people were, were telling me they were not going to turn in their ballot in the mail. They were going to go and take it directly to the post office or take it directly to their ballot place because they did not trust that something could be happening. Happening, uh, from all the foreign or the, uh, the interference domestically as well, because they want to be sure that they have a system that is safe and secure that they can trust. And that's what we deserve in America, especially in Georgia. Well, we certainly do deserve that as citizens. So thank you uh, very much, Paris Denard from the RNC.